Hi, my name's Dr. Rich Minlow and I'm the fish vet. Last week I was called out to one of the worst cases of fish lice I've ever seen. Now fish lice are visible to the naked eye so the owner was able to see this but what she wasn't aware of was that there are other parasites attacking her fish. Had she not called me to do a proper vet check, she wouldn't have discovered these other problems. In this video, we're going to show you how we diagnose and treat these very common external fish parasites, whether it be in your pond or in your aquarium. So, um, just tell me a bit of history about this um, property and, and okay. how you came across the fish. Six, the fish pond 16 years old mm -hmm. and I bought the property three years ago, but it had not had anybody looking after it for a couple of years yeah. so when I got here all the water was really dirty and filter things out the back all had holes in them and right. yeah, it was just a big nightmare so it's taken a couple of years to get all the water clean I vacuum it I use lysophos yeah. I clean my filters about four times a year pull mm -hmm. them all out and wash them and stick them back in and yeah. vacuum everything and right. uh, you rinse this in pond water or uh, tap water? I use out here is bore water. Bore water. Bore water when it comes out straight from the ground contains a lot of carbon dioxide yeah. so the pH can be quite low um, so that, that can stress the fish out with a low pH and yeah. high carbon dioxide level so what you should do uh, when you're filling it in, um, maybe do smaller water changes. Okay. Uh, and also we splash it in, you degas, get rid of the CO2. I do do that. Yeah, okay. I put, leave the hose so it's it splashes. Splashes yeah. into it. Great, okay. Yeah. That's perfect. I'm just going to test your water. Yep. Uh, and then after that, we'll test your fish to see why um, this guy passed I away. I sent a picture of him <laughs> to. I tried to keep him alive. And yeah, that's definitely lice. That, and that's all lice down in the water. Oh, jeez. Uh, so this guy is actually carrying a lot more, um, like on him, but I think look like a lot more has come off him. You've added salt in here. That's yes. that's probably why these guys have dislodged. Yeah. So just do some testing on him. Plus we'll test your other fish in the pond because um, there may be more than one disease that's happening at the same time. For lice, I tend to use either an organophosphate uh, called trichlorophon or um, a diflubenzuron, which is a chitin synthesis inhibitor. Uh, formalin tends to work for the smaller bugs, uh, but lice, I think they're a little bit more resistant. Okay. Just looking at your pond, it's made of um, concrete, yep. and you're using bore water, so I'm thinking your pH is likely going to be high, okay. uh, so that organophosphate is not going to work. It'll break down too quickly. Okay. Uh, so diflubenzuron would be the one to go for. Okay. In terms of disease progression, disease tends to be a, winter tends to be a good time of the year in terms of trying to get on top of it because the disease doesn't um, proliferate too okay. quickly. Because um, the cause it's cold. water's colder. Yeah, so the life cycle of the parasite isn't going to be so fast. So you're not going to okay. get too many too quickly. Do you think this has come from the ducks? I think it could be. So, have you had any? You haven't had any new introductions. Any what? Any new introductions of fish or plants no. from another pond? No. Yeah. So, I think that that sounds like that would be the source. So the first one is ammonium, which is what the fish produce as waste, and that's uh, zero. So that's good. So your biofilter is breaking up whatever the fish is eating and pulling out. Yay. Uh, and the second part of the biofilter's job is to convert ammonia uh, to nitrite. Uh, that, that looks like it's working. Uh, converting nitrite then to nitrate. Uh, so <clears throat> your nitrate is also at zero. Um, okay. So, so I'm doing something right. So yeah, so the stopping density and the feeding is not too much. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, your pH is at about... Seven to seven and a half. Yeah. Yep. So that's good. It means that we can use that drug. Oh, go, go. Yep. Uh, this is the KH test. Uh, it was four degrees of hardness, which means your buffering capacity of the water is going to be perfect. It's not going to drop dangerously low. You're not going to get fish dying from uh, low pH. <clears throat> and this is your phosphate level. Uh, so we we'll use the 10 mil, and it's about one milligram per liter. Uh, so anything from two onwards, uh, that's when you get some really severe algae issues. So okay. this is sort of intermediate level. Also take the water temperature. 
So it's about 12.8 degrees. So that's pretty cold. So that's going to be important to know if we're going to do the in-water treatments. Um, what sort of how what the time uh, between treatments is going to be. Okay. I'm just going to take the skin meter spray. Okay. Uh, this will find out any parasites that will be growing on on his body. And the next bit is the gill biopsy. And you can see it's got some uh, redness and thickening here and here. Yeah. So these are the sort of damage that lice can do. But okay. there's a few other parasites that can do that as well. The little bit looks okay. <clears throat> and this is the skin you can spray. So, what I can see here are some trichodina. What's that? It's a protozoan um, organism, so a single cell. And they tend to accumulate if you've got a lot of organic material. Um, and they <clears throat> If you get them in really high numbers, uh, they'll start becoming parasites and start um, sort of eating the fish skin as well. Uh, so over here you have quite large numbers. The other thing I can see here as well, uh, what is known as skinny fluke. Um, the scientific name is Gyrodactylus and they're flatworms. Um, yeah, we, we can also treat for that as well. Okay, so you can see now how I said that even though you can see lice, um, they these may, things you can't see. Yeah. Okay, so we've got three diseases, parasites, so we've got to get rid of. Yep. Um, the first one is lice, yep. uh, so we'll treat for that, and then we've got the skin flutes, and then we've got your trichodina. But the lice only on this guy is, was really severe, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to treat first for the trichodina, which is really high numbers in a few fish so I will put formalin into the water uh, and then we will then tackle the lice uh, so we will use a uh, trichlorophon okay. and that should also kill your skin flukes at the same time okay. uh, and then we'll follow on with less harsh chemicals uh, with stifibenzurone which will <clears throat> then hit the lice because uh, the lice produce eggs. They'll be breeding, yeah. Yeah, and, and then the chemicals can't kill the eggs, so okay. we have to wait for the right life stage to add the other drugs in. Okay, and you'll leave that all with me? Yep, okay. yep with a plan. Oh. So in here, what I've measured is um, we're going to use 0.0125 mils per litre of formalin for your trichodina, uh, and for a 50,000 litre pond we're using 625 mils, which I've already measured in here. Um, so that's we're going to do that now. Um, in seven days time, we'll use trichlorophon, uh, which we'll, we're using it at one milligram or 0.75 milligrams per liter. Um, well it's, it's a colorless liquid um, that's going to cause spasm of your parasites, your oh, flukes, okay. and your um, lice should spasm and die off and fall off. So do I just chuck the whole thing um, in? So I'm just going to show you with this formalin as an example of how to do it. So we'll basically pour it into a watering can, fill it up with pond water and, and uh, distribute it evenly. Okay. Yeah. So that one should mix quite easily with water because it's very easily dissolved. Yeah. Uh, in a month's time we're going to attack the lice again. Um, and that's with diflubenzuron. And we're using this at 0.1 milligram per liter. And then in another month, we'll be using it again okay. um, to attack all the susceptible life stages. So this one is a very thick liquid. Um, so you might have to do it in multiple shots into a watering can okay. um, to improve their immunity and disease resistance and just um, uh, 
um, <coughs> some vitamins. Some vitamin C. Um, yep. So that's going to be used at about at 10 milligrams per litre. So okay. uh, for a 50,000 litre pond, it would be 500 grams. Okay, yeah. you'll write this all down for me. Uh, so that's all. So we can, we can add that um, to... We'll add this one tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. So I put the dates on when when to treat with what. Yeah. Okay. So with the formula, I'm just gonna show you how we do it. So um, you can either add the drug in before or after. Um, just fill it up. And then just water it in. Just okay. Like that. A medicine to um, circulate evenly uh, as soon as you can just move that uh, water okay. mountain or increase the waterfall um, okay. and decrease that shooting up. 